Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So guys, uh, this is the uh, fourth session on Protector. A very small topic, but it's very important. I hope you are liking this series, uh, Protector. And uh, today I'm going to cover how to find the list of elements, just like we have driver.findElements, where similar kind of elements are available and we have to capture inside a list of web element in Serenity Web Driver, if you remember. Similarly, how can we do that? in protector so in protector uh, there's a method called element dot all method which will return you element array finder so just like we had in uh, selenium web driver we had driver dot find elements which will return you one list of web element right so how to do that in protector so in protector we have to use one method that is called element dot all method is there so how to do that quickly so before that, I would like to see that, okay, I would like to show you that this is the, uh, let's see, I'm entering some one plus uh, two, click on go. And uh, let's see, after that, two plus two is equal to four. So the, see, it, it keeps adding the history over here. Let's see, I'm adding three plus two is equal to five. So mm -hmm. if you inspect this particular history, right, so you will see that uh, everything is available inside the TR. So three TR, three uh, rows got created, TR, TR and TR. Okay, so this TR is having ng repeat is equal to result in memory. ng repeat is equal to result in memory. ng repeat is equal to result in memory. So we got to know that, okay, uh, these three uh, rows are represented by ng repeat is equal to result in memory. So I can use one, uh, one thing over here that is called uh, ng repeat is coming okay so i'll be using this uh, by dot repeater one tag is available by dot repeater one method is available just like by dot id and by dot model so how to do that so let's quickly do that so let's see i'm writing uh, first describe what exactly the method name the method name let's see um get a list of elements right and uh, after that i'm writing this function like this and uh, this function will be like this this is the closing bracket for this and then i'm going to declare if you remember that we have already declared how to add the value in first second and click on go button so i'll take it from the previous session that is it's there let me check and inspect to what is so i'll take all these global variables okay and then i'll uh inside this after this describe i'm gonna paste it over here okay so this is a thing that i have taken the result also i have taken and then only one thing is pending that is called variable that uh, let's see this history i'm going to maintain in some variable that is called history is equal to now what we have to do is we have to use same element dot all method is there element dot all by using what so element dot all by using by dot repeater okay by dot repeater so this repeat we don't use by dot repeat we use by dot repeater in protector so we have to use we can see that okay ng repeat having the same thing result in memory so i'll be using by dot repeater so just like by dot model we have by dot repeater and this is the value and then put a semicolon over here so this thing that element dot all it will return one element array finder okay so in this particular application that we are capturing everything inside this particular history so no need to write element array finder over here in a javascript like this we will capture everything inside the where where variable like this var variable name that's it no need to create array or nothing like this now um what i'm gonna do guys is that uh, i'll create one before each method also so let me create this before each method which will be executed before uh, it block so let me capture this before each so that it will launch the browser before each as i already explained to you in the previous session and then i'm going to create one function this function what exactly the function name is add so this is how we create the function 
let's see this function is accepting two because I have to create multiple rows. So the same operation I have to perform again and again. Sometimes I'll pass three plus two. So two plus two, one plus two, five plus six, whatever. And then I'll keep adding and creating the multiple histories over here so that I can capture the total count of history and then I'll validate. So let's say I'm adding three histories. So I'll uh, validate total count of history should be equal to three. So this is how I'm going to do that. So this is a function value a and comma b like two plus two, three plus two like this. I'm okay. I'm passing over here and this is a starting body and ending body. So let's see, I'm passing this here first number, but send keys. Let's see, I'm passing send keys as uh, uh, just a minute. First number is a, right? whatever the your value are passing and the second number dot and keys I'm passing as value B. So whatever, I'll just call this method and A will be given to this, B will be given to the second number. And then I'll click on go button dot click. So go button dot click method is there. Okay, so this is a very simple function I have created. And then what I'm gonna do that uh, I'll simple write one my test case, it block, okay. And then inside the it block that uh, simple I'm writing that Check the history function. Okay, it block is getting closed, and uh, inside the it block, what exactly I'm gonna do? I'm gonna call this method. So here, guys, we don't know, no need to create any object just to call this function or something like that. Just like in Java, simple call the method like this add, and simple you have to pass two values. Let's say I'm passing uh, one comma two, and then. Again, so this method will be called, it will come over here, one A equal to one, B equal to two, and send keys and, okay, it will pass uh, one to first numbers, two to second number, it will click on go button like this, and then one history will be created. So what I'm gonna do that, I'll call this function multiple times so that we can create number of histories. So let's see, two comma three, and add three comma four like this. And then what I'm gonna do with this history, whatever history is available, we will get the count. So history, uh, so we will do one thing that we will expect now that what exactly you are expecting. I'm expecting from history, the history dot count method is there. Okay, so we will get the history count and it should be equal to, guys, equal to, be equal to, so so far we have added three values. So it should be equal to three. So let's see if it is working or not. There that is expect history dot count dot two equal and three. It should work fine. And uh, let's see it is running or not. So let's protector conf dot js file. I'm going to execute and see it's launching the browser first. One plus two, then two plus three. And then three plus four so three rows got added and then check the history and then my test case is absolutely working fine three history got added and i'm checking three rows got added now let's see i'm gonna call this method again after this add uh, five comma six and then add six comma seven so two more histories it means total number of rows will be five and again i'm gonna check over here after adding two more now the history should be Three plus two five. Three plus two five. So I have added two assertions: expect assertion over here and expect assertion over here. And then I'll run it again. Then let's see. So see. Oops. So this is a third history. Now fourth entry and one more entry will be created. Yes. So it got created, and then you will see that test case is absolutely working fine right zero failure and one green dot means test case is working fine because we have only one it block one it block okay so that's all for today guys uh, uh, if you really like this video please subscribe to the channel and let me know if you have any issues it's very simple you can practice just a simple topic that i have created okay thanks for watching guys thank you so much i'll be uploading this code into my git repository also you can uh, find the git repository url in the description as well 
थैंक यू सो मच गाइज थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस इज माई चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल गाइज